Hello everyone. Well, um, just got a phone with a great friend, Big Al, and he told me he wants me to do a video for him and you about my new toy. And most people know I got a new toy. And it's in there. Woohoo! Just picked it up, got it out of baby jail. Let me show you this wonderful thing. Okay, it is a 97B. No decocker. It would be the BD if it had the decocker, if I remember correctly. Very, very nice. Very tight chambers. I was quite surprised on how tight the chambers were when I did a dummy round. So let me put the camera stand down and I can play with it a little bit. Okay. If you don't know, the, the 97B 10 round magazine and supposedly just 10 round magazines. They don't make an extended magazine for the CZ97B or BD. So, um, interesting. I figured somebody would make it. I mean, it's, it's a, such a fine, fine firearm, as you can see. It's just butamous. And I was stressing out because I took a picture of this when I saw it, when I bought it. And the, my excitement, I didn't really hold it a long time and check it out completely. And I saw a little bit of shiny. Oh, let me show it, everyone, so the safety Nazis on YouTube. It's empty. See? Empty. No bullets. But I saw a shininess coming right across here like it's been scuffed and I was pissed I was so pissed and I saw a little bit somewhere over here too by the serial numbers I was so pissing man I bought a scratch gun not that way at all it's just oil as you I don't know if you guys can see you can see the oil here that I put into it I I oiled it a little bit and I must have been a little too handsomely with the the oil but it was bone dry from the factory i really thought it would have been oiled a little bit nothing so if i would have took this out and shot it like i was planning on right when i got it out of california baby jail my 10 day wonderful 10 day jail um i would have been shooting a dry gun probably wouldn't have hurt it anything probably just might have scuffed it on the inside of the frame rail since they're supported in their full frame rail which I really didn't know that either. Um, my stupidity, I went looking for a 6.5 Creedmoor in a Howa, a Howa 6.5 Creedmoor in an action. And uh, they said online that they had it. And when I got there, they didn't have it. So my wife said, look, they have a CZ. And my ears went, bing. The crazy Scotsman's been driving me nuts about not owning a CZ. And I picked it up and I said, in my mind, I pick, I don't know why I picked it up and said 9mm right off the back, not realizing this was a 45 ACP. And then I looked at the barrel and it said 45 ACP and I, I got my heart, I felt like my heart fell out of my chest. And I said, what am, what am I thinking? I reload for everything I shoot and I love 45 ACP. So now this is my second 45. I have a SIG 220. And I have this one. I thought this had night sights. It does not have night sights. So I will probably be getting the fiber optic front sight for it. I'll leave the rear sights alone. I'm not worried about it. I just want to be able to see that front sight because that's your main thing anyways is your front sight. So, um, but as you can see, it's just butamous. Just straight butamous. It has a... Um, barrel extension or a locking i figure what you call it up here for the like the 1911 almost you know so it's really nice so i really like it it has the thin grips um i'm glad they don't say cz on them um they are smaller than the other ones when they first came out they were really fat but it really wouldn't have matter with my big fat hands um these feel like they're wood um I keep saying um, but from everything online, they're saying they're supposed to be aluminum. Maybe maybe they're plastic or no, it feels like it's wood, but I don't know. I'm not going to change them. 
they fit fine, they feel good. You know, there is some stippling, not stippling, but lines back here to hold on to and up here and on the front tr trigger tang or whatever you'd call that stupid thing right there. I am ordering the metal guide rod. Not saying that this polymer guide rod would go bad on me, not saying that at all. I just like having a steel guide rod in a gun from my old 1911 days, I guess. It just beats in me. I wish they had an ambidextrous safety for this model, but they don't. And I'm coming up on five minutes, so I got to hurry the hell up. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show Al and everyone. It's a, it's a butamus. I love it. I'm very, very happy. I'm thinking about having it cut back here for an RMR um, and uh, go from there. I might have them move the front, the rear sight forward and have the RMR towards the back. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't found a gunsmith to do the work yet. Um, I found plenty of red dots to buy. So who knows what's going to happen there. I might not do anything besides put a fiber optic front sight on it. It uh, doesn't look like it would be that hard to do. So that's that. Hope everyone liked it. I hope YouTube doesn't find this offensive since they're taking down my videos now. Thank you, YouTube, for sharing that you're taking my videos down to help safety from helping little children be safe. There's nothing wrong with showing a firearm, especially since it's been proven to be empty. Thank you.